Armin, I'm not trying to stress you out more, but your hands are still shaking. You need to keep them steady when you're dressing those wounds. I know. I know I'm sorry. They're just... They're losing so much blood. If they keep bleeding like this, they're going to die. Don't think like that. If you can keep your hands steady enough and, and dress their wounds properly, the bleeding will stop. At least, enough to hold them over until we get back. Just focus on the task at hand. You can do this. Right. Right. Okay. I'm calm. Thank you, Mikasa. You've always been so good at calming me down, you know that? I do my best. Now, will you be all right on your own while I make sure no titans come near us? Yes. Yes, of course. Just please come back soon. If they wake up, I don't know if I'll be able to hold it together. All right. I won't be long. Just keep your hands steady. Everything will be fine. Right, right. Everything's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. I'm sorry about this. Really, I am. I have no idea if you can hear me. Your pulse is still very weak. You're probably unconscious. But if you can hear me... I hope you know that I'm sorry. You were... Bitten by a titan. You were... You were attacked... In my place. I got... Confused. I thought that... You and I had... Different positions than we really did. I'm sorry about that. But everyone's maps... They were different once again. Except this time, the commander decided that everyone's position would be different on each map, not just Aaron's. Not the best decision, in my opinion at least. Still, I should have known my place. You and I ran into each other. We both got confused and... Mikasa. Thank goodness she was nearby. I thought for sure that you would have died. After all, there's no way in hell I could ever take down a titan like that. But she can. She did. She saved your life. Be sure to thank her for that. Oh, who am I kidding? I know you will. Of course, she'll be... much too humble to accept it. She'll probably say something along the lines of... I was just doing my job. There's no need to thank me. But... let's face it. We both would have died. Right then... Right there, if she hadn't stepped in to save us. We really owe her one. And I... I owe you one. After all, this... This was my fault. I'll apologize a million times if I have to. You didn't deserve the hell that you went through. You don't deserve the pain that you'll have to suffer through during recovery. I am so, so sorry. Uh, oh, oh, you're awake. That's, that's incredible. You've lost so much blood and your pulse was so low a moment ago. It's a miracle that you're awake. No, no, no! Hey, hey, don't panic, don't panic. Everything's okay. It's all right. I know we're in a dangerous position right now, but Mikasa is making sure that no titans get near us. 
You're safe, I promise. Your wounds? I've... I've dressed them. Don't worry, you're not bleeding as badly now. And... Can you take a deep breath in? Let it out? Oh, good. Good, good. You're not coughing up any blood. That means there's no blood in your lungs. None in your throat. That's wonderful, wonderful. That means that there's... Very little evidence of an immediate cause for alarm. However, you did suffer enough external injuries to warrant some concern. I say some, but it's a lot. Your injuries are very bad, and let's face it. If you don't get help soon, professional help, odds are you won't make it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be so pessimistic, I'm just trying to be realistic. Oh, that was a joke? Sorry. In situations like this, I'm... Not very good at picking up on sarcasm or jokes. Especially when I'm panicking as well. Of course I'm panicking. There's a chance that you might die. And it would be all my fault. Huh? What do you mean? What? You were... You were given the wrong map? So... You really weren't supposed to be there. Oh, God. This plan... Someone... Did not... Think things through properly, and... Something tells me... There are going to be... Far more unnecessary deaths this time. Yeah. Even more than the 57th expedition. Let's face it. That one. We always thought that nothing could top that. But this. This just might take the cake. No! Oh, Mikasa! I see you're awake. How are you feeling? Aside from your wounds. Lightheaded? As expected. You have lost quite a bit of blood. Not to mention I believe you may have hit your head when you fell. May I see your eyes? Don't joke around. Open them nice and wide. Alright. They don't appear to be dilated or bloodshot. That's very good. Now, can you follow my finger with your eyes? Just your eyes? All right. And if I clap my hands over here, can you turn to see them? How about over here? All right. Responsiveness is good. And you haven't thrown up or felt nauseated at all? Very good. Little evidence of a concussion, so... At least, if you pass out again, you ought to be safe. Don't think like that. Don't talk like that, either. You're going to be perfectly fine. What makes me so sure? Look at the sun. It's starting to rise. We left very early in the morning. We often do this. And do you recall why? Titans have extreme difficulty moving around when it's dark. For some reason, they draw energy from the sun. 
It's light, at least. How does that help us? Think about it. The sun is rising. Titans are going to be moving very quickly, very easily, and they'll all head towards us. If the sun is rising, we're in danger. And when we are in danger, like we are now, we return to the walls. When we get back, your wounds will be treated. I'm sure we'll return in a hurry. I'm sure you're going to make it. I wouldn't say that. Mikasa, she's always right when she's sure about something. She was sure that Aaron was somehow alive back in trust. She was sure that everything would go according to plan. And it did. And Aaron was fine. She was sure that we'd be able to retake the armory. And we did. She was sure that during the 57th expedition, Aaron would be safe. And he was. When Mikasa is sure about something, it's true. You're going to be fine. You're going to make it. Trust us. Please. I know that we barely know each other. We graduated different years after all. But you can trust us. We're not trying to peer pressure you into believing us, and we're not trying to shut you up. Look, right now isn't the best demonstration of it, but we all look out for one another here. No, it isn't just because we're comrades. We genuinely care about each other. We've all gone through so much, all of us together. Somehow, those of us who are still here now, we've come out on the other side, stronger for what happened to us. We've learned to trust each other. And I realize that you haven't been with us a long time, but we trust you. It's okay if it takes you a while to trust us, but if today is any indication, you ought to trust Mikasa. She's loyal. She'll always protect you. And you can trust me. I can't always keep calm in situations like this, but usually I can think quickly and I can treat wounds quite easily. It was one mistake and it wasn't even a mistake on either of your parts. Clearly, there is something very wrong with the plan for this expedition. We'll be speaking with Erwin about it later, I suppose. Indeed. This... This plan, it was... It was doomed from the start. Something is wrong here. Neither one of us is to blame for what happened to you. Something else is at work here. Someone else is. And I know things are bad right now. It's difficult to know whom to trust. But we helped you because we trust you. 
If you choose to trust us, we won't let you regret it. Uh, hey, hey, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open, please. Look at me, look at me. Keep your eyes open. You are going to be fine. You need to keep your eyes open. If you keep your eyes open, you will be fine. I am sure of it. Please, please trust me. Keep your eyes open and you'll be fine. I am certain of this. I am dead certain of this. Keep your eyes open. <laughs>